One of the things I love the best about gardening season, all the fresh herbs. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. It's Marcy coming at you and one of my favorite parts of gardening season is the herb gardening and this year we've made a big upgrade to our herb garden. I'm so excited about it. We had little short maybe one and a half to two foot high uh, garden beds that lined this area. I'll put a little picture across the top. Lots of different containers and stuff like that uh, and I spent a lot of time bending over, kneeling down, um, crouching down trying to pick herbs and weed things and get things planted so uh, Lance convinced me that we should try to upgrade the, the beds that we're using up here and we've switched them over to a same kind of style as our raised beds that we use for our vegetable gardening we've just made them a little bit smaller since we want to be able to segment the herbs a little bit more some herbs like some things some don't some spread out some stay contained so this gives us a little bit more flexibility so let me show you what we've got growing here in our herb garden so down here on this end, we have our mint type plants. And I'm very excited that all three of these plants we had last year. Uh, they survived the winter with very little attention from us. Probably we should have done more, done more than we did. But as it turns out, it didn't matter because these things came back like champs. So I was able to transplant all three of these from the pots that they were in into this bed. And since they've been over here, they've been able to kind of stretch their roots and reach out and they've grown and expanded and they look awesome. So right over here, we have spearmint. I love spearmint. We use this, I use this primarily in teas. Uh, same with the chocolate mint right here. And the lemon balm, which all three of these primarily I dry or use in their um, fresh form to make hot tea and uh, iced tea as well. So love my mint garden. These have to be carefully pruned because if you don't keep tabs on them, they will grow and actually take over everything and grab into, grab each other and into each other's spaces. So I'll have to be vigilant about keeping this thing snipped back. And I've already harvested a little bit of these out here already. So the next bed we have, it's kind of more of our Italian garden, um, our pasta garden. We've got a basil plant and this basil plant I was actually growing indoors all winter and I've transplanted it out here and it has taken off since it's gotten out here. It's super happy to be out here, so it's loving it. This is thyme, which we actually had growing with our sage plant, which I'll show you in a minute, but that sage plant is a beast. So the thyme needed to get out of that bed and have its own spot, and so it's doing fantastic. No problem with the transplant, it did great. Same with the oregano. We had this growing in a little pot on the side of the fence, um, and it was small because it was contained in a small container. Now that we've transplanted it over here, I'd say it's at least double or tripled in size, at least. So it's loving it. This little rosemary plant that we just planted this year, rosemary didn't make it <laughs> through the winter. So we did buy a new one and it's already grown and gotten bigger as well. And we decided to add one more friend to this garden bed and that's this guy right here, which I think is a purple basil, I wanna say. Nope, I'm sorry, basil African blue. And we thought we love basil, it's absolutely beautiful, so we're gonna plant it right here in the center and just make sure we keep things pruned so they don't encroach on each other. In this bed, we have resurrected our onion and our garlic chives. Both of these were in one of the small beds that we had in here. We pulled them out and they had massive root balls on them. But we pulled them out and we tried to keep the roots as um, intact as we could. We transplanted them in here and they were like nothing. They were like little teeny tiny stubs. And as you can see, th this transplant hasn't hurt them at all. They're doing fantastically well in here. Uh, so I think they're gonna be fine. So we've gotten them a couple of um, planter box buddies. <laughs> Something we have not grown before that we're gonna give a shot to this year is right here, which is dill. We haven't grown dill before, but we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna put it right here. And something brand spanking new that we hadn't really even heard of, but our friends at Prairie Wind Nursery kind of put us on this. It's called Burnet, I think. Let me make sure I'm right. It. Yep, Burnet or Burnet, I'm not sure which. But it says it's supposed to be have a really um, kind of fresh cucumber type flavor. So you can apparently you can harvest these leaves and toss them into your salad and you can kind of get that cucumber flavor without actually having cucumbers. And we thought, well, that's pretty cool. And I think that would also be good 
if it has that cucumber flavor like kind of um, infused in water or something to kind of give you that cucumber water flavor. So I'm eager to try that little buddy out there. So that will complete the three raised beds we have here. We have one more of these, but we don't have it in place and that's because of this beast right here. So this is a total interloper, not an herb, but we had this growing in the fall in this little raised bed, this teeny tiny raised bed. <laughs> and we had a really early frost and it killed everything. And we just assumed this, this was also dead. But lo and behold, come the end of winter, all of a sudden this started to look alive and then more alive and then more alive. And then it started to bloom. And we have actually already gotten some uh, pea, snap peas are what these are, little pea pods here. I don't know if you can see that right there and so even though we have another raised bed that's supposed to go right here there is no way I could let this thing go until we could see what it would do so now it's hot it survived the winter a couple of spring frosts and two hailstorms and now it's this so this thing gets to stay here till it's all played out then we'll move it out we'll move the other raised bed in and we'll plant some more herbs over here okay so here we are at the end this is our sage plant We'd actually uprooted this thing at some point during the winter and we had just kind of left and then set it back down. I forget why we uprooted it, but we set it back down in the pot, like just set it back down. And lo and behold, it started growing. And it was just a little nub of a thing. And now it's this. So even though we were planning on not having any containers over here really, there's just no way we could do uh, up, you know, uproot this thing and put it somewhere else. It's doing so great right here and it produced so well last year and I think it will again. So, and plus we love this thing. We got this from our Lance's mom, has OU, Boomer Sooner. Uh, so we decided we'd leave it here on the end of the, of the planter beds and it's a nice dark red color so it matches our other planter beds and we're happy about that. Okay, last but not least, we have a cilantro plant growing down here in a pot. Uh, we heard from uh, the person we bought this from that they don't really love sun all that much and the heat well up there in that herb garden full sun lots of heat didn't think that would be quite the right place for that so we've planted in this pot right here and it mostly lives down at the far end of the garden uh, where it gets a lot of shade from the tree that's down there so i brought it up here for the purpose of the purposes of this video but it's going to live down there and we definitely wanted to grow some cilantro this year because we'd like to try some fresh homemade salsa and we know that cilantro is a key ingredient to the kind of flavor we like in our salsa. We also bought one more herb type plant, not really a plant, I think more of a shrub or a tree, but it's called a bay sweet laurel. So these are those bay leaves that you usually uh, find in the store in uh, little er um, seasoning jars where they're dried and you put them into your soups and your stews and then you fish them out before you actually eat your soup or stew. And we thought, okay, we use lots of bay leaves when we cook in the winter. We're going to give this a try. So I understand it doesn't winter well here. So we, it was recommended that we plant it in a container. And that way we could move it inside uh, in the winter. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to plant it in this container. Of course, it'll stay out over the summer uh, and into the fall. And then when it starts to get cold, we'll see if we want to move it in. But for sure, we'll harvest and dry these leaves so we have bay leaves to use in our soups and stews. So that being said, I got a few things to get planted, so let's get going. That's what we've got growing in our Victory Garden 2020 Herb Edition. And we're excited to see how everything does. We're very excited to try a few new things and also to have some of our old favorite familiar things as well. We're gonna to try to do a really good job of getting these things pruned and taken inside to dry so that we have them to use throughout the year, not just in the summer while they're growing. 
Uh, and that's really the challenge, is trying to remember to get out here and get that stuff taken care of because they look so pretty. You don't really want to lop them all off because they look so great. But that's not really the point of having an herb garden, is it? So we're going to do our best to keep this thing going all throughout the summer and into the fall. Thanks so much for coming back and watching this video all the way through to the end. We really do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, now's a great time to do that. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you know each time we put out a new video. We have tons of gardening ahead uh, and also some videos on our chickens and our goats and other projects we have going, around, uh, going on here at the homestead. Uh, catch us out. Catch us on the social medias. We post a lot more updates throughout the week. Links are down below. And for our homestead to yours, have a blessed day. Keep on growing, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.